Hi, it's Arnie here, and today we're going to look at Lottie files. Lottie files are basically done-for-you animations, and the amazing thing is that you can edit them and they are scalable without losing resolution, very much like vector images. So before I show you how to import these into Create Studio, let's first see where we can get Lottie files. The largest collection of Lottie files is found at LottieFiles.com. You can make a free account and there are some free Lotties here as well. So as you can see here, Lotties have a lot of animation and color and so forth. Let's go take a look here at their Discover and we'll go look at the free animations. Okay, there we go. Now there are a ton of Lotties available. And of course you can search some. I've downloaded some already. So for example, I've downloaded this uh, this pop can or soda can. So let's just have a look at this. I'm going to just press on it. And we can set a few different factors on this, which is very interesting. So for example, we can change the animation speed. Okay. And we can change the background color. Uh, we can edit layer colors and so forth. Now we can actually edit these, um, but before I get into that, let me just show you here. If we want to take this Lottie and put it into to Create Studio, we can download it. Now when we're downloading Lotties, what we're downloading is what's called the JSON file. And the JSON file is basically a JavaScript object notation file. And it's used in many web applications. You can also download this as an animated GIF or an MP4 or what have you. But uh, for Create Studio, we want to download it as a JSON file. Now, I've done that already. So once we press this, we can just save it into our directory here. And here I have a whole bunch of JSON files. Okay, I'm just going to X that for a second. Now we're going to go into the design area here and go into Editor. Now, it's a very basic editor, but there's quite a bit you can do here. I'm going to take, for example, I've done this before where I had um, some renewable energy uh, animation. So let's bring that in. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And you can see there's a number of different elements here. We can turn on and off the elements on the side here. You have to play around with this a little bit. So for example, I'm going to go into the wind one here and you have to try and figure out which one's which. We're going to, let's say, fan two. I'm just going to click on that and there's a new menu over here. Now we can turn off the visibility of this. So take a look at these fans right here. I'm going to turn one off and you can see the middle one disappears which is fan 2. Okay, let's put that back on again and you can change a lot of the colors. You can go into each individual item here and change the color. So if let's say we want to go into, there's a sun here. I think that may be that sun. Let's turn that off to see where that is. Yeah, so it's that sun. And it's made up of a number of different colors and you can go in and basically change the color to whatever you want and just press update and it'll change the color. Now, for example, I wanted to, let's say, isolate this one and not have the other ones on here. So I had to basically go through these and shut off all of the ones I didn't want so I could have one isolated. And once you've done any editing here, we just go down and we can export it as a JSON file. So you can take any Lottie and manipulate the color and what's on the screen and so forth. So you can see you know, only what you want. So let's go back into Create Studio. Now I've downloaded a number of Lotties already, but let's just take a couple here. Now in order to import the Lottie into Create Studio, you have to go to this icon right over here, which is the Import Lottie File. Now this is the logo or the icon for Lotties. So we press that and we do import Lottie file. Now again, we're going to have to look for the JSON files here. So I'm going to take this man with a skateboard and let's place him here. So there he is. So when we play it, you'll notice that there's a specific time frame for how long this um, this animation plays. So if I play it, okay, you'll see what he does there and it stops. Now another very interesting thing about Lotties is you can make them any length you want and it will just loop the Lottie, as you can see here. Okay, let me just bring in another Lottie here. 
And let's bring in that uh, beverage can here. Okay. And let's do that. All right. So again, when they're playing, you'll notice that they'll both have their own animations, which looks very high end. And we can take this and scale it as big as we want, and it will not lose its resolution. Excellent. So let's have it so this guy's skating on in, and then the soda can pops up here. So we can treat Lottie's like any other graphic. So we'll take this here, we'll go to a motion, we can do the in motion, and let's say we're going to have him slide in from the right. Maybe have a little bounce back just for some interest. Or let's see. There we'll just do a backslide like that. Okay, so now what will happen is he'll come in and slide a little bit great, and then all of a sudden we'll have this can pop up. Let's do that. Okay, and here we go. We'll have that play. And there we are. Excellent. Now another interesting thing that we can do with Lottie's is actually use some of the other um, animation settings here. So for example, let's go into Advanced. Okay, and let's take uh, the guy on the skateboard over here and let's add a shadow. So we'll change that. And as you can see, everything including the, the man, the uh, background, the skateboard, etc. Everything can uh, accept a shadow. So now when we play it, it has a little bit of a different dimension to it. Okay, so basically again, a lot of these are high-end animations that you can add to your videos. You can use them like any other animation and any other asset. And um, just have fun with them. They're, uh, they're a lot of fun. And one thing I would like to add is that when you do use Lottie files, make sure that you check the license if it's to be used for personal use or if you can use it for commercial use. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, have fun with using Lottie's in Create Studio.